Hey, good evening everybody. Welcome to Mark in Time. Uh, tonight on the bench, I have a circa 1950 uh, Imperial watch, 41 Jewel Imperial watch that I just started the service on. I um, basically took just a movement out of the case and I've been noticing on some of these vintage watches of around this time that on one side, so here's the movement here, on the side that is in the case back, it's beautifully polished. Now this watch has got lots of problems. I <laughs> got my work cut out ahead of me. Um, I've already just, when I took it out, you can see the balance wheel isn't running. Um, and she's got a couple of wines in it. She badly, badly needs to be serviced. But as you can see, this is where you can see all the jewels in here. 41 jewels. I have like, it's ridiculous the amount of jewels in this thing. In fact, there's a couple of forums that I was reading um, about some of these watches from this time period where I think it was a race to see how many jewels you can fit into a watch because it is absolutely insane. But um, what I want to show you, this is the interesting part. Okay, now it's quite understandable. I'm just going to take this out of my my vice here for a second. So this is this is the side that's in the case back, and it's really beautiful, even not even being serviced yet. I mean, I still have to clean all the parts. I got to dismantle it and clean all the parts and everything. Absolutely gorgeous. Now, hold on to your seats here. When I turn this over, yeah completely machine i mean this reminds me of like a timex kind of a look you know that basic um rough type of machine i'm trying to show you here there's barely any kind of light now obviously this 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 side is under the dial so you would never see this this is all hidden underneath the dial of course and it's a beautiful dial it's actually a it's it's, it's a beautiful beautiful watch I'm, I'm really excited about having this finished and working because it is a beautiful watch but the part that i i find really interesting is so, so you have this here all machines. Some of the parts have been removed already. I have taken like uh, some of the pieces out that would just fall out really easily on its own. So I've taken it out. And so here you see this kind of a rough, rough machine like movement where it's like, yeah, this is just the meat and potatoes to get you going through the day to keep this watch running. And then you turn it over and voila, you got the gorgeous, beautiful jewels and polished stainless steel. It's all beautiful and everything. But this is my question that I find really interesting is this is not an easy watch to get into. So who would actually see this part except for your jeweler back then, right? Your watchmaker that would take it apart and go, yeah, look at how nice and shiny that is. But in actual fact, probably doesn't care because he services a thousand of these. So he doesn't mind, right? Or it doesn't really matter to see it. Um, and as you can tell, I'm just going to carefully put this down on my pad here. So I find what's really interesting is the case back. I mean, as you can tell, it's this is the case back to it. It's, a, it's, it's an elegant case back, but there's no glass. Like this is this is all metal. You're never going to see this. Like you're just not. Um, and and to get this case back off isn't easy. I mean, there's some notches. Like it's hard to point out, but there's just some um, little notches here. And, and I can't see, the, you know, people walking around with a little case back removal tool to take these cases off. So the question is, why do they do all this work on these beautiful, well, that's the wrong side, on the these beautiful backs on these when no one sees them? Now, I can understand that, like, with the pocket watches, there are some pocket watches that, you know, it's easy to remove the back. Um, Waltman makes a beautiful movement for their pocket watches, absolutely gorgeous. Um, with the engraving and everything in it. Um, and that, you know, you can understand, hey, let's go and show off the movement. But it always blows my mind, and I've been seeing this, like the more vintage watches I work on, I always thought that this was kind of an interesting little thing that you open up these watches and you go, oh, this is gorgeous, and then you take the dial off and you're like, okay, that's just a machine. Um, they're pretty basic. But then it kind of makes you wonder, why would they even put all this effort into the detailing on this side, when no one is actually going to really take a look at it except your watchmaker. Anyways, just a little bit of food for thought. Um, if you like my, uh, if you if if you like this video and you like to see more, please uh, like and subscribe, and uh, catch you in the next one. Thank you.